Mamacita, Mamacita. Yay, we're here again with another video. I'm so excited to make this video as well because we're going to be talking about the top five plants that are making me very happy lately. And of course, like all my plants always make me happy, you know, but I want to talk about the ones that are specifically doing amazing right now, the ones that are shining and thriving and growing and just doing amazing things right now. And I had to narrow it down. It was very difficult. I probably sat around here for about 30 minutes really thinking about what plants I want to mention in this video. But I was like, you know what? I just shouted you all out in my last room tour video. So if y'all haven't seen that, go ahead and watch it. I'll link it in the cards right here. But I just talked about them and hyped them up all in my other video. Y'all plant folks know that you think your plants have feelings, so I am not alone in this. I am not. I refuse to admit it. I picked out five plants, so we're going to talk about them today. I'm not going to go in any particular order today. I'm pretty much going to be just picking up all the ones and then going and talking about them. So it's not in any order specifically. The first plant I am going to be talking about in this video is going to be this beauty right here. Oh my god. It's, it is so amazing and I'm so excited that I have this in my life. This one is a Calathea Zebrina. So I've always been so nervous to pick up calatheas when I go plant shopping or ordering online. I've always just been so anxious, you know, because I always think that, because I bought one in my lifetime and yeah, you know, we all been there, I'm sure, and it didn't really go well, but this one is just amazing and just so beautiful and the velvety leaves are just amazing like you just I, I don't understand anybody that doesn't think that this is not beautiful this is just a stunning plant it truly every time I look at it in the morning it just makes me smile because it's thriving in my home I finally kind of figured out how to keep calatheas alive in my house I mean this is the only calathea I have right now but it's doing so well and I've had it for about a month now and it's just doing so great. I'm so excited and that I'm not like seeing it decline because you know that feeling when you're just so hyped up about a plant and it just starts to decline but I just really want to get a close up on these leaves. How lovely they look. They're very soft. They of course do have some minor crisping and browning on the edges but nothing compared to what I've done before <laughs> in my past. So it is doing quite well like considering how I don't really have that much humidity like in my room it's doing great I'm so excited and this is going to be the first that we talk about today it is this Calathea Zabrina and it's just bringing me happiness just because I'm finally figuring out how to deal with Calatheas and it's so beautiful and it's making me excited to buy more Calatheas so this is why I'm mentioning this baby today Alrighty, so next on the list is going to be this big mama. This is a Hoya. Uh, I've been hearing it called different names lately. It is Bertinay or Bilobata, D70, all these things. But I just call it Bilobata because I love to say that word. <laughs> <laughs> I know you may call me weird, I may call it the wrong name, but I'm going to call it that because I like it and he likes it and we're just, you know, great friends right now and he, that's just what name he was given at the nursery, so I'm just going to go with it, you know, but yeah, so this is the Hoya Bilobata, it is so, so pretty, I don't know if I've mentioned this whenever I bought it in my last video, but, because I did film that, just saying, but yeah, this one is just amazing. Like, it's such a beautiful Hoya. It is so fuzzy. I did not even know. Whenever I shopped around and I was looking for this plant, because yes, I've been searching for this baby for a good year now. And when I was searching for it, I had no idea that it had fuzzy leaves. So that was an awesome surprise. It is so cute. I love it so much. And it's literally just putting out new growth all over the place. Like there's some new growth here. There's some new growth there. There's some new growth over there. It's just like all over. Like it's just overall super happy. And it's thriving in my home. And I'm so excited that I'm keeping it alive. Um, yes, I do. Like in the last probably seven months 
I've turned into a Hoya head. So, of course, I'm going to be hyping up a Hoya in this video. But, yeah, this is just amazing. Like, I love this plant. I love that I finally found it. And it's happy. And I'm happy. And our relationship is just very positive, you know? So, I'm excited to share this plant with you guys today. I did actually pick this up at a Lowe's. Um, I will probably link that video here as well. But it was very exciting when I found it, and I probably freaked out a little too much. But I'm saying, I was looking for a whole year, so I'm so excited that I have it in my collection now. And yeah, so this one is going to be the second plant today. Alrighty, so the third plant that we're talking about today is going to be this guy right here. This is my raffi plant. It's a Raphidophora tetrasperma. It is beautiful beautiful plant I, but i got this around christmas time and i got it at a flea market and whenever i got it it only had two leaves so it's grown obviously a lot in my home and it's making me so happy especially right now because for a long time it didn't really do much for me considering that we entered the growing season i'm not sure if this is a type of plant that only grows like an off season or what but I didn't really see much going on with this guy for a couple months, but finally this month in August, we see a new baby leaf here. So this, it took a while, like you can tell, it was like reaching for a while. It had this long, long stem, and then it finally unfurled this leaf right here, and it is just stunning and amazing and really beautiful. This is, I think, the regular form of tetrasperma. I know that a couple months ago, there was some controversy with this this plant but there's like somewhere there was like this form and it was just like a I don't know what form they would call this one but there was another one where they would call it tissue culture and it's just for like where it's like an amateur raphidophora but yeah a lot of people finally found out that it's pretty much the same plant it's just if it has like a different shaped leaf or whatever that it is um like it's just a baby raffi, you know, like it's still maturing. And whenever they do mature, they do form leaves that look more like this and this and this and this. So pretty much, I guess you can say I have a mature raffi for a tetrasperma, but yeah. So I did want to talk about this baby today. It is making me super happy because it's finally doing some awesome things. It's growing more leaves and it is getting really tall also I do have it supported on this little bamboo stick with some twine and it's just doing amazing and it makes me super duper happy to see that it's not I don't know like stunted or anything it's actually finally starting to grow this one is on the list today because it's growing finally and it's making me happy because this just happened this week and it's just really exciting to see so that is the third plant today all right so this one's kind of a big mama but it's gonna be the fourth plant I want to talk about today and y'all probably if y'all are paying attention to me y'all probably will guess what I'm gonna talk about but it is this baby it's not e it's not even a baby it's like a big adult plant but yeah this is my humongous I'm gonna try to get it all but this is my ginormous philodendron Brazil and it's so amazing and it's so huge, beautiful. The variegation on it is so stunning. It's still on here. I mean, of course, there's like going to be some leaves that are kind of, um, that are kind of reverting back to green and stuff just because it's really hard to keep lighting all over the plant, you know, but I do my best to rotate it, but I'm pretty happy with it because... I don't know like it's still like growing all the way down here and it's keeping its variegation on most of the leaves you know so I'm not mad at it at all I'm actually super duper proud I'm very excited that it's putting out so much growth and it's so healthy like I have never gotten a yellow leaf on this plant like that's how happy this plant is and how Happy it's making me, you know, so I have to mention this plant today. It is, oh, like I said, a philodendron Brazil. I 
love it so much just because it's so huge and just like how I said it's just constantly throwing out growth you can see at the top here that there's like a bunch of new growth like there's here there's some here and like this one too it's just everywhere and then at the very bottom too there's I'm gonna try to pull it out for you but like this one's from the bottom and it just keeps going like it doesn't stop it's amazing so I have to talk about you today you are amazing and just so full so huge like could be my hair you know but <laughs> it just makes me so happy just because every day it's putting out a new leaf or unfurling a new leaf and it's just super exciting to see what kind of variegation is going to be on it because they're all different and it's cool like it's just something to look forward to you see a leaf unfurling and then you're just kind of like watching it every day to see if you can tell like what the variegation is going to be so it just keeps me really happy and it keeps me positive and excited all the time so i have to mention this one today it is amazing and i highly recommend to anybody to get a brazil in their life like even if it's just a baby one because i do have baby ones as well and they're just as amazing you know just as awesome <laughs> but yeah so this is the fourth plant baby today alrighty so we have finally got up to number five today this plant I have to mention it you guys might be questioning why I'm talking about it but I will explain so this is my top five so the reason this plant baby is on the list today is because I have previously had one of these. It is a Monstera Adansonii narrow form and it is absolutely lovely. It is really awesome. It grows new leaves like all the time. I don't know if y'all are going to be able to tell but right here is it's putting out a new leaf again and it literally just unfurled this one right here. So it's just amazing. It's a constant grower and it just makes you happy all the time. It's kind of like the philodendron Brazil because of how quick they grow. They are very satisfying. They are very exciting to have in your life because it's instead of being excited for the variegation, you are more excited to see the fenestrations that are going to be on the new leaves. So of course, whenever a new baby comes out of the plant, I, oh my god, I literally just saw this right now. Oh my goodness gracious, but oh my god, I'm going to try to get this on camera for y'all, but oh here, right there is doing some more new growth. I'm just saying I'm just saying today I literally just noticed the one at the top and just now I just it's just oh, this is why you're on the list this is why but yeah so this one like I said obviously there's proof in the pudding right here that it just constantly it's surprising you all the time it's so exciting I always recommend Monstera Adansonii's to people who have a little bit experience in house plants but they also want a plant that grows fast so the reason I say that is because it kind of has like I don't know it has kind of you have to know what you're doing whenever you get one of these things I finally learned whenever I got this one because like I said I had one before this one it didn't really do the best I mean it's alive still right now if you watch my other video my plant tour y'all saw it literally has no fenestrations but I swear to you that it's the same plant but but I wanted to try again because I want those fenestrations I want to see the Swiss cheese and the Swiss cheese vine so I tried again I got this one whenever it was probably yay high compared to where it's at now which is like all the way up here so it was kind of like a medium sized plant when I got it it's in a six inch pot it's in the original pot I bought it in and it's still doing really happy but like I said you have to kind of know what you're doing with this guy but once you learn its care needs you kind of just it shows how happy it it is by putting out new growth because whenever you put in the effort with it it puts in the effort back so it's really exciting it's really fun and yeah so I, and then also I do want to show y'all without making a mess hopefully but I'm gonna show y'all the roots right now so I was looking up reasons why my um, Adansonii was 
turning yellow like it what i wasn't over watering it at all like i know because it has really healthy roots and stuff but i looked up reasons why it could be possibly getting yellow leaves because it has been i i put them off but you could probably tell like this one right here is turning a little bit yellow uh can you tell hold on there you could kind of tell right but it kept doing that and i looked it up you, and then I found an answer and pretty much it needs to be repotted. And I'm going to show you why. <laughs> Look at these roots, guys. Look at them. They're insane. It so needs to be repotted. And I feel kind of bad because I haven't repotted it yet. But it is really outgrowing its pot. But yeah, so that is another surprise that I have had recently probably like last month <laughs> and i still haven't repotted it but i really need to but maybe i can make that another video so stay tuned to my channel if you want to see a repot with me or leave a comment down below if y'all would be interested in seeing that but yeah so that is why this plant is making me so happy because of the fast growth the surprise fenestrations and because it is growing even in its roots where you can't see so it's doing all over really wonderfully and it's making me very happy okay so that pretty much wraps up this video of the top five plants that are making me happy currently of course like i said all my plants make me happy but these are the ones that are really doing the justice right now and i just wanted to share it with you guys because i see a lot of people on plant youtube making these videos and i was like hey that's such a good idea so i kind of wanted to jump on the bandwagon and make my version of it so please give this video a big like if you liked any of the plants that i mentioned today or if you thought any of them were just beautiful and you liked my reasons why they're making me happy also please subscribe if you're into plenty videos because this is what this channel is all about and i guess that's all for today so i guess i'll see y'all tomorrow bye